Zimbabwe Assemblies of God Africa founding leader and national hero Archbishop Ezekiel Guti has been laid to rest at his old church in Bindura. This is where it all began. With the church opening in 1960 and followers first gathered under a tree. The evangelist in him led to the creation of many other churches around the world. Our New Zealand-based pastor Kim says the late Archbishop was a big inspiration. It's an honor and privilege to serve Jesus Christ through this ministry. And uh, we give glory uh, to God. And we thank God uh, that He, our Father, has empowered many all around the globe including New Zealand, my country. He has touched 169 nations all around the world for the gospel of Jesus Christ. He is a great hero and a defender of the faith. And he's empowered many, not just uh, here in Zimbabwe, but also in my nation uh, with the vision of uh, empowering people, uh, such as uh, today's woman. And he's taught uh, Matarenda talents, Maoko Haisitea, teaching women to uh, work with their hands and do businesses. So we can see the fruits of the labor of love he has shown towards his God. And uh, we're very blessed to be here in Bendura in Zimbabwe to honor such a great and mighty man of God. Through Zayoja Ford in Faith, Archbishop Guti ensured a university and several schools were built. The contribution of the church in educating Zimbabweans was therefore immense. The university itself, it signifies what he stood for. It signifies the person who had a great value for, for education. As we has been testified, Across during the 30 days of morning. One thing which we see with Baba is that he left uh, so many schools which he built, which he financed that they be built. Baba Guti will also be remembered as a teacher and an author. <laughs>